Coachman Freedom Express 302 FKV here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Now this is a Liberty Edition, not just a Freedom Express, basically the upgraded class. It's like taking a car from the LS to the LT. Um, we have some options and upgrades and a lot of packages and bundles included on the trailer in this video that are not by any means standard equipment. So always double check your listing, never hesitate to give us a call to make sure that you're looking to take home uh, the trailer that is perfect for your wants and needs. Um, you know, let's not mince words, this is a significant investment and we want you to be very happy and comfortable with working with us so that you recommend friends and family to see us because we're not a chain store. Um, you know, return and referral sales is how our dealership has grown and become the largest independent RV dealer in Michigan today. Um, you know, having things like a, a full parts warranty service department, you know, we, we, we service what we sell and everything else too, I'll put it that way. Um, you know, there's, there's more lightweight trailers out there now than ever before. So, you know, why look at Freedom Express as compared to another brand? What are they bringing to the table that makes them worth your investment? The short answer is a lot. The long answer, that's why I put this video together. Construction is vastly different from most lightweights. Um, this is five-sided vacuum laminated. You see how this is just a solid chunk. Most laminated trailers, only your two sidewalls are laminated like that. On these Freedom Expresses, your, well, on this Vino's rather, your two front walls, normally your one front wall, but your two front walls, your rear wall of the trailer, the two sidewalls, and the floor are all vacuum laminated. And if you need a difference between how things are laminated, give us a call because there's even differences in that process. Um, long story short, this is stronger, lasts longer, it's more rigid, you'll get a greater return on your investment with the Freedom Express as compared to most Brand X's. And there are some trailers that do some of what I'm showing you, but I don't know of any that do all of what I'm showing you. Uh, like right here, the Asdell they use in the walls. That's the white spot that you can see right here. Not terribly amazing just to look at it, it's what it does for you. This stuff right here is 50% lighter than the normal plywood panel that they put behind the fiberglass that keeps the weight down in check and that is why that even though this is a larger lightweight trailer it still does fall into that category of lightweight um, this is an option we like to put in the full coleman grill it's a high output grill compared to those little two burner stove tops um, a, a very light wind can blow those things out it takes a very hefty wind to blow that thing out um, the uh, awning it does have LED lighting under the awning, so you do have uh, you know nice uh, illuminated patio at night. And let me double check the weight here. This one comes in 7454 as it's built. So that's often a difference between the brochure weight and the actual dry weight on these. With a uh, you know the base Freedom Express, it doesn't include uh, a lot of the upgrades that are on this model, so the weight on these can skew up pretty quickly. Um, what is this? This is, I think this is called sandstone that we're looking at, the color scheme, but again, color schemes can vary from trailer to trailer. Now, even there's even a couple unique things with Coachman's u dinettes, and I love this. Um, man, I don't even know where to start. Let's, well, here, let's start right at the front and work backwards, otherwise I'm going to get lost, because there's a lot to talk about in here. First thing, these are 81 inches tall. I said these are bigger lightweights. Most lightweight trailers are only 78 inches tall. This is 81. That means that you have more headroom. You have more cabinets, you have more space uh, for your head in the shower. That's a big deal to me as a tall person. So that extra three inches is a big deal. Um, the uh, nice things like just, it's, it's the day-to-day -to -day touches. Like this has a shoe garage down here. It's a place where you can put all of your shoes when you're, uh, you know, hopping in and out. Because if you don't have something like that, they end up in this big ugly pile by the door and it's just a tripping hazard waiting to happen. And those are the kind of features that you get from a company like Coachman who's been building RVs for over 50 years now. There is a very select number. You can literally count on one hand the number of manufacturers that have been around for 50 years. That says something. Uh, full extension ball bearing glides all the way around. You're going to see that uh, everything is full plywood box construction. Now, in this one, we it's not only a Liberty Edition, which upgrades the countertops, it's also a uh, features a Premier package. And uh, that is what's going to give us not only the nicer solid surface countertops, but also the solid surface sink inserts so that everything is all flush one level. You see, we keep this plastic on to protect it until you take it home. Uh, one of these packages, I believe it's the Premier package, or Liberty Edition rather, upgrades to the residential sprayer type faucets. In the Vinos, you get two front windows. We have the windshields down right now, but you can open these up and get a lot of light. So if you're like pointed at a lake, it's perfect. A lot of extra storage up here that you can see. 
Uh, so you're when you're standing in the kitchen, everything is literally one arm's length away. Um, the Premier package is what's going to upgrade to the eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer that we see here. Uh, in English, this refrigerator is now 33% larger. Um, right next to the entry door, one of the more recent updates on these, is a full charging station. You see the different power outlets right here. And there's little holes down here where you can dangle your power cords down. You can, uh, you know, keep your phone plugged in, keep it charging right there next to the entry door, and you'll never miss a call. You can hear your phone ring. Well, what's cool, this camper has a Bluetooth stereo. You can actually hear your phone through your camper speakers if you want to. Back to where I was initially, the U-Dinet. Couple really cool things going on here. Easy access storage. And again, this uh, these are made for everyday functions. The things you're going to use and touch every day, that's where their engineers really do an awesome job down at Coachman. Now for the storage back here that's not easy to get to, well, they thought of that. They leave you these little slider panels so you don't necessarily have to tell everyone, get up, grab your drink, grab your dinner, get away from the table. I have to take this whole thing apart. Now notice in the kitchen we have the upgraded counters. But even the standard countertop you see everywhere else is better than what you normally get in most travel trailers, even a lot of fifth wheels. This is waterfall edged. It is sealed. It is not um, tea molded. That means that there's nowhere where water can seep in here and swell and cause soft spots. Above the uh, dinette, you see the extra little skylight here letting in lots of ambient light. An important thing I like to note, all the windows, every window, even the ones in the sides of the slide out, open for cross ventilation. If you're like me, you don't run your air conditioner non-stop, you're going to like this trailer. You can get a lot of fresh air in here. Now, uh, one more cool thing on the dinette. The little end table between the two recliners. By the way, these are upgrades. Standard is just chairs, and we upgrade to the full recliners. And they are wall huggers. That's another thing I always forget to talk about. Watch this. You clip this thing out, and they slide forward. They are wall huggers, so you maintain maximum floor space in this layout. But back to what I was saying. The little table right here between these is freestanding. So here's what's really cool about this. You can just use it like a normal magazine rack, but bring it over here, put it in front of your dining table. And I only have one hand to do this, so I'm sorry if there's some shoddy camera work involved. And then you see this down here. This is on a little fabric hinge, and it turns into a little extra dining table seat. So you literally can sit more people around the Freedom Express U dinette as compared to most available from most brands. Problem with most U dinettes is you, you lose all your seating space over here. With the Freedom Express, you get the what I call the jump seat. You get that extra seat, you can float around whenever you need it. And you'd be shocked how many RV salespeople don't even know about that. And in fact, you'll be shocked how many RV salespeople don't know anything about RVs. They just like to tell you, man, ain't it pretty? And look at that price tag. That's what you get out of most sales guys. More than 50% of our sales force here at Halitz are experienced campers, many of them seasonal. Um, most of our sales team, I think like eight out of 10 of our sales team, they were Halit customers before they were Halit employees. They came to work here after receiving our service. And I think that's a big feather in our cap. That's something I always like to point out to people. Television will be included with this trailer. We simply take them out for storage while they're out here on display. Again, your stereo is Bluetooth enabled, so it's an all-in-one DVD CD stereo. Um, your fireplace is part of the Premier package. It's basically an electric space heater. It's going to cut down on your propane use because you can heat this thing with the electricity you already paid for at your campsite. And the trifold memory foam uh, hide bed is something I love. And one of the things that I like from it um, at Coachman is it gives you these handy little drink holders. And again, that's not a big deal. It's the combination of all these little factors that you're going to use and touch and love every single day that really makes this one so powerful and, and so exciting for me. Um, air conditioners, we will generally upgrade this to a 15,000 BTU air instead of a 13.5. And I've got a terrible camera angle here. Hold on. The uh, shower, you see the clouded glass and it's on a radius, not just a, a corner shower. Nothing wrong with a corner shower. This is just going to give you that extra bit of headroom to get in there. And again, because this is 81 inches tall instead of 78, a tall fella like me, I'm 6'3", I can stand in here, and my head is not anywhere close to being in the bubble, and you actually get headroom in this thing. Now, um, here across from the shower, you see we have a very nice linen cabinet space here, and that's very generous. There's It, it, it absolutely annoys me to no end how many of these RVs give you no place to put a towel in the bathroom, but notice this one actually gives you two. 
You could almost use this as extra clothing space, an extra pantry. You could do a lot with this here. And um, again, we are looking at nicer equipment. We're looking at porcelain stools, not plastic, nicer stuff. Um, back here in the bedroom, the bed is uh, in the slide. And this is a true queen bed, 80 inch long bed. That's why I'm having trouble even fitting it into the camera frame. There is easy access storage below it. And you will find things like extra power outlets on the sides of the bed uh, for folks with like CPAP machines. And just that little shelf right there, it's exactly what you need just to put an alarm clock or a fan or anything in there. Um, you'll find upgraded lighting all over the place. Um, in your living areas, you find the little flush mount, what I call puck lights. But everywhere else, it's still LED lighting all the way through. Um, fully centralized air, uh, enclosed insulated underbelly. I mean, this is this is the coach that's designed for extended season use, you know, like three and a half season type use. If you're going to go camping in Alaska, there are very few RVs made for stuff like that. So always keep that in mind. Now, the other thing I really like here is this mega window in the bedroom. It just lets in so much light. And the second door to the bedroom is really sweet. Because if you're um, traveling down the road and you just want to hop in and use the bathroom real quick, bam, right there. There you go. It's easy to do. And that's the whole point of this. Like I said, the stuff you're going to use and touch every single day, that's where Freedom Express always has, has shown through as, as really one of the champions of our line. So don't hesitate to give us a call. 800-256-5196. Oh, I forgot one more thing. My coachman rep said he would kill me if I didn't show this to every single person. And that is their awesome drawer under the sink. It wraps around the sink and gives you the perfect place for all of your utensils and goodies. And it's the best use of space around the sink I've seen in an RV. And again, the stuff you use every day, that's where this coachman just really smokes the competition. Like I said, try it on like a t-shirt. Come out here to our dressing room, try one on, and I bet you like how it fits. Take care, stay safe, happy camp.